Well, so I suffer from anxiety and sometimes even depression. Collecting does help that. So that's what I want to talk about in a very brief video. Hey everyone, this is Ryan, also known as Mr. Mom Collectibles. Um, I just wanted to kind of do a quick video of something that just popped into my head and Hey everyone, Ryan here, also known as Mr. Mom Collectibles. Uh, for those of you who kind of don't know, um, and it's only as much as what you see here on YouTube anyway, a um, little bit into my my personal life. You know, I'm, I'm married. I have also have a daughter who you very well know, who without this whole Mr. Mom brand persona wouldn't even be. Um, you know, I, I've been collecting pretty much anything since I was a young kid, you know, just little small toys, action figures, Legos, um, you know, big, in, big into eighties pop culture, Ghostbusters, RoboCop, back to the future, you know, all that stuff. So, um, and I discovered hot toys in probably May of 2020. It was a month before my boy, my daughter was born. And unfortunately I got laid off from my job, uh, due to COVID, I worked in the construction business and uh, I was out in the field every day and a lot of job sites were getting shut down, which led to downsizing. And, you know, I was laid off. I was actually unemployed for about 14 months. Um, we gave birth to my my daughter, Gwen, Gwen Stacy, um, in June. And, you know, I my wife and I discussed the, the idea of me being a stay at home dad because child care was just so much money at the time. Uh, so I was a stay-at-home father, and that was kind of the joke that uh, my family coined on me, calling me Mr. Mom from you know the Michael Keaton movie. The name stuck, and I started collecting hot toys. And uh, you know, this is the persona, Mr. Mom collectible. So uh, that's kind of how the whole thing started. Um, and I just got to—I just want to say to everyone out there that you know we the community is great. There's definitely, you know, toxicity at times, you know, that word gets thrown around a lot, gets abused, I think, a little too much. Um, there's positives and negatives. But the fact is, I've made some really great friendships of people I don't even know. I never even met in person. People that, you know, I stream with all the time, talk to every day. And, you know, and it's what Hot Toys did. That's what brought us together. Um, I discovered the communities probably like two or three months after even collecting the social media aspect of it. And what I mean by that is the Facebook groups, the Instagram. And then I decided to put myself out there and start my own YouTube channel. And I've made my fair share of mistakes along the way. There's no doubt about it. I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be. I don't say I am. I understand putting yourself out there. You're going to get your fair share of criticisms, um, positive and negative. People are going to say stuff about you all the time, say your opinion's stupid or they don't agree with it. It's just that's the nature of the beast. You put yourself out there to you on camera. You got to take the good with the bad. That's just what it is. But I, I will say that, um, you know, when I was home for those 14 months, I was absolutely depressed. Um, I would just be home with my daughter all day. I wouldn't go outside most of the time because I was busy taking care of my daughter. Um, the only time that I would go out is at night. I'd go food shopping at night, do little errands at night when my wife got home from work. Um, and to be clear, this isn't a pity story. I'm not looking for, you know, sympathy or, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to explain the fact that, you know, collecting really kind of helped me kind of level my head out. And especially the last year or so when I started the YouTube channel, it's really kind of kept me focused. I work a full-time job. You know, I do, aside from my family, I carve out the time when I can. My family always comes first. Family involvement always comes first. I never, I'll never sacrifice my family for this. This is pure fun. What you see here on the camera, this is fun. This is, I love creating content for you, whoever's watching, whoever's out there right now. And if you're watching this, I thank you. You're taking your time out of your day to watch this video right now of me talking basically. And, you know, you may not get that appreciation. I'm talking to you right now, but I do thank you for that. And I watch other people, not as much anymore as I could, but I think sometimes that's really undervalued. You know, the fact that there's someone on the other side of this screen that's watching the videos that we make or I make or whoever, and they're, they're investing their time into that. And that means something. It does mean something to me with every subscriber I get with every view I get on YouTube. I am very appreciative of all that. I'm, I'm a nobody. I still, people joke, but I still think I am. Um, but I just want to, you know, kind of make this video 
And just, you know, as kind of like a reminder, you know, if you're out there and you're suffering, you know, you're depressed at times, things aren't bad. I mean, there's a community of people out there that are definitely willing to help. It's not just toy collectors. I feel bonds with people that sometimes I talk to and we don't even talk about collecting. It's just because I've made great friendships with people. And I know that's been talked about before. And I was one to say, ah, it's all, that's ah, all bullshit, but it really isn't. It really isn't. There's, there's, um, there's just, there's just people that I've, I've, drawn to that i talk to literally every single day via phone call or text message i there's a certain amount of people i talk to every single day um and the community really is great and i will say that um i don't have an end game for this video i just kind of sat down and started recording something but i just wanted you to know whoever's out there watching this that this community is good hot toys are you know they're there's something that uh they really do help a lot of people, you know, they collect because they have, you know, either they're, they don't have, they have too much, they have time on their hands or they don't know what to do. So they want to go into collecting. They watch these live streams. They watch the content that we make um, as YouTubers because, you know, they, they, they're invested, they're invested in all that stuff. So I just want to, I guess is kind of more of a thank you um, for those who have watched and like I said, I saw I suffer from anxiety, had depression, and you know, doing all this and content creating really has kept my mind focused um, between you know work and you know bills and all the bullshit that we deal with on a day to day basis. This has been a amazing outlet. This creativity, doing all this, has been an extraordinary outlet. And so um, I appreciate whoever's watching this right now. Me ramble on for five ten minutes, but. I just wanted to say I thank you. Whoever you are watching this, I thank you so much for taking your time to appreciate my channel, to watch the content. I am striving with every video to make it better than the last one. If there's only one thing I can change better, then that's a success. If I make the thumbnail better, if I make the quality of the video better, if I don't stumble through the video talking too much, you know, whatever it may be. You know, so that's just where I'm at. So, like I said, I just want to issue a thank you to whoever's watching. I really appreciate it. Um, it helped me get through a lot. Definitely some low times when, you know, the real world and stuff like that is getting just too much. You know, I come in here, maybe make some content. I always have a list of ideas on my phone of videos I want to make. Um, if you've been following my channel the last month or so, I've been generating a lot more content than I think I've been in a long time kind of found my 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 niche that works in terms of making videos that i hope are constructive that age like fine wine that's what my goal is um and they're videos that i could hope you know maybe help the next person and that's what i'm trying to achieve right now is make content that collectors who are new to the game can watch and say hey that makes sense that's beneficial so once again i appreciate everybody um you know drop a like on the video i guess i mean you know i appreciate it um, if this is your first time watching, please consider subscribing to this and for future content. And I will see you guys in the next video. You're awesome. Thank you so much.